Polly and Joanne were best friends. Every day they would play at Joanne's house. Joanne was such a good friend to Polly. She would always make sure her mom put out a snack for Polly, and her dad would always make sure to include Polly in every game they played. But things changed when school began. Joanne started making new friends, so Polly was left to play alone. Joanne spent hours in the park every day playing games and sharing jokes that Polly was not a part of. After the park, when they went back to Joanne's house, Polly thought maybe now they could play together, but Joanne seemed tired. Ignoring Polly, she went straight to her room to do her homework. Then, one day, Joanne invites one of her new friends over. Polly is excited. Maybe now they can all play together, but the new friend doesn't acknowledge Polly at all. Even worse, Joanne ignores Polly too. She never even introduces Polly to her new friend. Polly doesn't understand why Joanne is being so mean. Joanne's mom comes in and sets up for snack time, but she only brings enough snacks for two. Joanne is quick to offer Polly's seat to her new friend. Why is everyone ignoring her? After snack time, Joanne's dad sets up their favorite board game. Maybe now she'll finally be included. But once again, there is no place for Polly. She waves her hands and shouts, but still, no one pays any attention to her. When the new friend leaves, Joanne's parents ask Joanne if she's still friends with Polly. Polly waits eagerly for an answer, but what she hears turns her whole world upside down. No, Mom, I'm too old for an imaginary friend. Imaginary friend? Polly can't believe her ears. What imaginary friend? Why would Joanne say that? Polly isn't imaginary, is she? Polly looks around the room. How can she be imaginary if she's in all these pictures? But as she looks at the pictures, she sees herself fade away. They're just pictures of Joanne. She tries to remember a single memory where Joanne wasn't there. She can't. Polly tries to convince herself that she's real, but deep down, she knows the truth. She is Joanne's imaginary friend, and Joanne doesn't want to play anymore. Oh.